We recently published an ahead of the curve series report that takes a look at the current state of the psychedelic pharmaceutical drug development landscape, including a review of the most advanced clinical players in the space and what's next for them and in the sector in general. There's been a significant resurgence in medical interest in psychedelics for the treatment of major unmet needs in neuropsychiatry. There have also been major advancements made in recent years in elucidating the mechanism of psychedelic therapies, with medicine now having as great an understanding of how they work as more traditional psychiatric medicines. Further, cultural prejudices have faded as independent studies by neuropsychiatric experts have repeatedly generated compelling data supporting strong clinical benefit of this class of drug in patients that are unresponsive to all other classes, along with a relatively benign safety profile at therapeutic doses. We see the current development landscape as being broken into two generations of drug development candidates. First-gen therapies are dominated by drugs that are closely related to naturally occurring and or well-known compounds like MDMA, psilocybin, and even LSD. These may constitute the first wave of FDA-approved psychedelic therapies, likely for PTSD and treatment-resistant depression. These therapies, some of which are already in the final phase of clinical development, will also likely be administered in a tightly controlled setting with wraparound psychotherapy complicating logistics and access. Indeed, time and supervision burden of administration, distribution channels, and reimbursement are some of the major points of investor scrutiny for these companies. We see the second generation as being a wave of new chemical entities that are being rationally designed for optimal efficacy, safety, and ease of administration. Next-gen drugs also have stronger patent protection, a vulnerability of first-generation drugs. Still, we see significant value creation in the field overall in the near term, where one company's success, whether clinical, regulatory, or commercial, will raise the probability of success for others. I'm Ritu Baral, Cowan Biotech Analyst.